Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to some more Let's Play of Stolaris featuring the Ancient Relics Story Pack. We are continuing the series that has started as a Let's Play over here, uh, or sorry, as a live stream, as a, I'm going to continue it as an offline Let's Play over here, because I'd really like to see how this campaign goes, and we don't always have time to fit everything in as live streams over here, especially since I'm currently also got uh, an EU4 live stream campaign going on, so we're going to break that up a little bit. We are playing as uh, the Cult of the Fallen Earth, some people that uh, are coming from Earth that uh, Earth that was, Earth that uh, had a hard time. It is a tomb world over here, in uh, the our in-universe stories that we're actually living on uh, on the moon now because the Earth has been uh, basically destroyed. Um, that, that's how we're explaining things, even though that's not exactly what's going on, but let's pretend over here. Um, the Ancient Relics story pack uh, comes with patch 2.3, which is tweaked gameplay a little bit, but the story pack itself adds a bunch of archaeological dig sites that we can get, uh, we can collect some little artifacts with. If we go to Traditions and Relics, we go to Relics here, we've got some minor artifacts. Uh, we did sell off a fair number of them at some point to assist with our economy, but at least that's bouncing back now. Um, we don't have any... Uh, any proper relics over here, unfortunately. Uh, we did start off with expansion and then we were threatened right away. Uh, so we picked up supremacy. The problem is we spawned, the first people we found, these people here that we spawned next to, were an advanced start empire. And we didn't get along right from the beginning. They're still fairly scary, although nowhere near as scary as they once were. In fact, they're willing to sort of maybe be bros for a little bit. And that sounds like the sort of thing we'd like to do. I'm actually quite surprised about this. Why am I plus 52? Mutual rivals, ah. Now, as hegemonic imperialists, we're not really gonna be making uh, friends. They're not gonna want a coalition or anything like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get a few relationships going with these guys, which is good. We did just recently have a war against these guys. They started it. Um, we took two, pro two, uh, two star systems from them, and then they instantly like white pieced because of our war exhaustion. Or, or they surrendered or whatever, because they, they surrendered to our demands uh, before we could go and make more claims, which is a little bit more annoying, but we got two more systems out of it. This arid world isn't inhabitable by us at this time, but maybe later on it will be nice. Who knows, maybe we can get some other species in here. Maybe we can get migrations treaties with someone or something like that. Um, currently we are moving our dudes to the north here. What is, how tough is this, the space amoeba? Not very tough at all. Let's actually backtrack for a second. We're gonna come over to Regor over here because there's a natural wormhole, there's another dig site, there's some pretty good systems. We would like to go and take these over, I would say, before these guys move out. Oh, although our ships are fairly heavily damaged, hold on. Um, yeah, move in here to repair the fleet. We've got a new station at the front. It's built a shipyard so that we can upgrade our ships at the front. But yeah, let's go ahead and do some quick repairs and then go and clear that out. We do have some transport ships that are also moving towards this front. I don't think we've made any claims on these guys yet. The Julian Autocracy, uh, they hate us. Most of our people hate us because like we're spiritualists and like everyone we're meeting is a materialist or, or they are egalitarians and we are fanatic. Um, fanatic authoritarians. So we, we don't really get along with anyone. Although apparently we just made friends with these guys who were scared uh, for a large part of the game. Um, you two are doing archeological dig stuff. There you go, these two ships. Uh, you are building a thingy over there. Um, I'm still gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the science ship over here. When you're done building that thing, I guess we, we can we can let you finish. That's gonna be okay. All right, let's bring the speed up to fastest. Uh, commercial pack, non-aggression pack, nice. And then maybe there's gonna be some more stuff we can do with them later on. Migration tree wouldn't hurt, but oh yeah, they're really not keen on that. Dig site event pending. So beautiful bubble. Where, what system is this one in? In the Gribbon system. Once down on the surface of Gribbon 1, it was clear that civilization had indeed flourished here until as recently as a few centuries ago. At some point, a sudden and total catastrophic event ripped the world. Apparently, some sort of internecine struggle between nation states led to a terminal exchange of weapons of mass destruction. Well, we've been there. Oddly, although the surface is scoured clean and dead, the sky is alive with the shifting hues of perpetual aurora borealis. It's a striking vista, the desolate steel and stone carcasses of entire cities painted by the vibrant scintillating colors dancing in the sky. All right, keep digging. Some more minor artifacts over there too. All right. 
construct. Do, 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 we, uh, if we take a look at our situation log here, um, well, yeah, we have a lot of uh, dig sites available. Our precursors we're dealing with are the bowel over here. Um, alien species procurement, we'll see what we can do about that. The rubricator, right. So over here in the Sismac, which is right next to our homeworld, which we discovered this thing, um, there is a giant space dragon here guarding an artifact called the rubricator. And uh, hopefully we can deal with that um, at some point soon. I don't know how tough that guy is. I don't know if he's as strong as the other Leviathans. Like he's got a, qu a skull over here, so it implies yes, but we'll see. Are you serious? It needs some housing. Indeed it does. Um, it's gonna need some jobs soon too. Um, energy wise and food wise, we're hurting a little bit. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and build uh, another generator district here for both housing and a little bit Star of work early on. Geology. That's gonna be okay. Um, the Yalta shipyard over here does have a module available. Um, I think what we'll probably do is get the target uplink computer in case we do fight in this system. It's going to be handy to do. Are you, there we go, fully repaired. Excellent. Come over here and clear this system out. Uh, we'll appreciate having that. Construction ship over here is done. We'll build that. And construction ship over here is done. So we'll build this, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move in this direction to be able to take this. I mean, expanding out here might be good too, but we actually don't have that much uh, scouted over here. Ooh, more dig site, this is a beautiful bubble. A, lar a group of large predators indigenous to Grimmon 1 were recently discovered to have made a lair and the ruins being excavated. Dealing with these vicious animals will not be easy, but they're blocking their only route forward. Archaeologists can look for an alternate path, but it'll take time. We can remove the animals, which costs us money and gives us clues, or we can go around, which costs us clues. We actually don't have any clues, so I guess this wouldn't hurt, but we're going to do this because having clues, there we go, increases breakthrough chance. So now we have a bit of a chance for things to go a little bit better. Um... Okay, and I think it's just 90 day per per tick of, you know, whether or not we succeed or not. Construction okay. complete. Are you serious? It's coming along. That's good. There's other ways to modify those, rate, those rates. Those rates, I don't know. Um, okay, and we're meeting some people. Um, you are a spiritualist. Well, there you go. This meeting is surely a blessing. So at least we can say that. We've met another spiritualist for possibly the first Attacking time. Space muscles. amoebas over here are going to get cleared out. This should be a pretty easy combat. Receiving communications. Excellent. We may have lost something, which isn't a huge surprise. Trade deal. The six lakh are just offering us some money and minerals. I don't mind if I do. I'm going to go ahead and tell you to just go back here to mostly repair, but... Also, may as well upgrade to the latest version. Um, in terms of our ship design, right now we're just packing the coil guns here. We could go and maybe do a mix just to be a little bit more general, but I don't know. I think this is okay. I like the coil guns early on. Pew pew bullets as opposed to pew pew lasers. Sure, it's fine. And yeah, we do have more archaeological sites all over. A bunch in our territory and some that is not as well. Now we don't have the tech yet for star holds, which might be nice. Although at least we have a non-aggression pack for these guys now. I'm I'm really quite happy about that. Vessels um, I didn't read the anomaly message, but I think it's one that we've seen before. Inconsistent sensor reading. Constant state of upheaval. Alright. So the fleet is chilling over here. Now our naval capacity is 28. Um, we don't yet have destroyers. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and bring you up to 28. Uh, money's going down. Oh, we have another archaeological site event. Bio computer fossil. I think, yeah, I was going to say this is with the bowel. We've managed to extract some data fragments from a particularly well-preserved bowel biocomputer fossil. This 10 million year old relic appears to contain pedagogical information intended for immature members of the species. Not yet ready to receive the full range of the hive mind's neural connection, young bowel or saplings were introduced to growth techniques, horticulture, and nutrition in a more curated experience. These findings suggest bowel society prized terrestrial landscaping and ecosystem management, and were also highly dependent on it for their survival. Intriguing. So more minor artifacts over there. <laughs> yeah. Negative, uh, negative chance over here. Each time a phase end, you roll the die. The results of the roll is added to skill bonus and clues and subtracted by difficulty. Mm -hmm. So presumably we're not um, we're not seeing as they tick and actually develop clues. Because and the reason we keep saying zero clues is I think when it ends the chapter, I think the clues get reset as part of it. 
Higher in the sky, the history of Gribbon 1 and its lost civilization was uncovered, and although tragic by galactic standards, it was sadly typical. A civilization arose, growing in technological sophistication, if not social and political harmony. Eventually, they created the tools of their own destruction and then used them. If the fate of this world and its denizens was not unique, there was something that was, and it captured the imagination of our scientists' minds. The ceaseless aurora borealis effect dancing unperturbed above all the devastation. Upon closer study, the aurora effect in the sky displayed repeating patterns, which defied all previous knowledge of weather systems. Is there some message here? Keep digging. Okay. Construction mm. complete. Uh, all right. Some people made Special peace. We've just secured some more of our wildlife specimens. That's great. Everyone's still active. We're parked over here. Um, we have some influence. I mean, we're going to spend some there, but I think what we're going to do, let me double check. These guys here... Are you, what's, what kind of relationships? You have non-aggression packs, commercial packs, migration treaties, that's all fine. You have a truce, CBs, but you're not part of any sort of um, alliance or anything like that. That's great. So we're gonna go and plop down some claims. Uh, we could settle the tropical world. It's not a very good system, but I, we might claim it just for completeness. We are gonna grab that. Um, if I keep going, the cost is going to keep going up. Although it's not that bad. We do have the cheaper thing because of a rivalry. And I guess then it makes a corner over here. I don't know. We'll claim, we'll claim these three for now. Of course, that will put us bordering these guys. But that might be okay. Well, note we are playing on Admiral Difficulty. Um, or, well, scaling difficulty for admirals. Um, so the game is going to be fairly difficult eventually. Um, they start sort of without bonuses, but their bonuses build up over time. So the sooner we sort of, you know, go to war and do all this stuff, the better. It's kind of what the situation is going to be. Are we on the cusp of getting any new military technology that will change things? Uh, the Corvette hit points wouldn't be bad, but I guess we'll wait on that. And you've got some ships coming. Can't afford Alien to reinforce it anymore, although I don't know how many are queued in. Grimacing. Yeah, this is the this is the anomaly where we found the world sort of in constant upheaval. We can study the process or have a chance to terraform it, I think, is the idea. So where is this system? This is Pell. Um, right. This is behind the Fallen Empire. We could make the jump to here. I guess this, yeah, you know what, let's let's spend the money and see what happens. Tactical terraforming, special project has been issued, but we don't have much time. So let me go and tell you to research the project in the system and see what happens here. Construction complete. Commercial packs special broken. Project complete. Terraforming successful, so we get some science. Does it actually terraform it something useful? Yeah, okay, I don't know. Maybe there's different chances. You can go back to auto exploring if that's going to be okay. All right, some breaks there. Do I just want to start the war? I kind of feel like I might. I'll build some more here. We can always retreat over. I think we will. <sighs> so these guys are now in a federation together. Maybe we won't then. Yeah, I should have just I just should have just pulled the trigger right away. Because now we have to deal with both these guys at the same time. <sighs> Dang it! Yeah, I should have. I should have gone right away as soon as I made the claims. Hmm. It's too bad I have no information on their fleets or strengths or things. There's a good chance they are stronger than us. Now, it's possible we can bait them into attacking us here with the Starbase, but I don't know. And since I can't even have defense platforms, I guess I'm not going to pull the trigger, which is which is somewhat disappointing. Um, I think what I'll do then for now is I'm just going to get rid of the transport fleet, which is going to save us a fair amount of money. Construction, Construction ship complete. over here is done. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, we lack stuff. Okay, we'll just move into position. That's going to be okay. Uh, science ship over here. Maybe I'll send you to dig site. I think that might be the thing to do. Um, 
Are you actually digging there? No, no, you're on your way somewhere else. Um, which I guess I'll, I'll let you continue on. Exploring wherever, that's going to be okay. You over here, you need to research the projects, and then we'll have you... I'll just force you to survey this system. Anomaly found. Anomaly. Uh, silvery metallic crystals Star in orbit. Charted. Oh, skyscrapers. All right, let's research this. That's fine. Um, and their association status with the Glorious League. That's the Pagovan Republic, which is over here. Which is good. So they're not in an association. Um, we still have a truce with them, right? Or no, maybe we... Yes, we do. This is the truce. Oh, well, there's me. Like, oh, that's my flag there. No. Uh, when does this expire? Okay, six more years. Yeah, maybe we'll just hammer them again. But the nice thing is we've got a lot of territory. We do have a lot of space. We're not feeling as much predator to expand outwards. We don't have that many planets, although we are making another one over here. Uh, Elgate Insight. Oh, Nanite Crystal Lattices. All right, a little bit of tech and some Elgate Insight, which is good because we do have an Elgate over here. Elks. We don't have a reg. We have another Elgate over here. We don't have a regular um, dimensional portal. Hello. Ah, Thortarian. Xenophobe. Well, that's unfortunate, but we serve the God King, Quilatine. And you've moved over here, but I think the priority might be expanding out this way, actually. Which will also give us a new neighbor. These guys over here. Who are not in any sort of alliance whatsoever. I'm not going to aggression pack you. I don't think I can rival you because I have too many yet. But maybe we'll just go and push out to these guys and then see if we can start some crap with them. Receiving communications. Again, the sooner we can do that, the better. Uh, non aggression pact with the Austrian Combine or a criminal syndicate. And they're way over here. So, yeah, we'll do that. So maybe we can actually develop relationships with you. Let's get the minus 40 from Xenophobia, but Stars otherwise we're charged. okay. Idle Science Ship. Oh, you finished that. Excellent. Um, can I? Yeah. So we haven't actually made enemies over here, so we can go and do this. There's an anomaly to study as well. Um, all right, we can probably go. Oops. Hold on. Stop. Halt. Do this. Let's select this guy. We can probably build this up. I've got some um, extra alloys that it's going to be okay. I mean, eventually our construction ship here is going to want to take the regular system. Too bad it's kind of crap by itself. But we're going to have to do it so that we can expand outwards. Science ship over here. Um, I know there's... I sent someone to go and do this. Oh, no! I sent you to go do this, and then I put you on Auto Explorer. But luckily there was a dude here. So we'll get you to Special do that. Complete. So here's the thing. <laughs> The Horizon Signal event, we're going to go through it. Um, we're going to go through it. We're not going to like stress about the story too much and do whatever. We're going to do it because we sort of need the bonuses that it provides us to um, keep pace with what's going on over here. The funny thing is we're already Tomb World um, adapted. So this isn't going to mean much for us, although it will make many more planets in the solar system um, colonizable, which I guess is going to be kind of cool. And yeah, it will give us some racial bonuses. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and go with it. We're not gonna read the uh, the events, right? That was over here. Uh, we're not gonna read all the text because we've done it many many times. It is like the greatest event in the game, though. Well, yeah. Um, okay, we've unlocked harmony, so I guess we'll do that. Governing ethics traction will keep people authoritarian and spiritualist, which I guess is good. Save us some amenities, demotion. I'm gonna take the leader lifespan. It's quite nice to keep our five star people. Uh, around, around a lot longer. Construction ship over here is done, so you're going to go ahead and build that. And then you're going to come over here and do this research project. Technology or whatever it is. Secured. Ruby swarms, new technology, alien zoo. I don't know which planet has it. Sinic army, regenerative tissue, amoeba flagella, which would be better than some of our stuff right now. Just the habitability boost wouldn't be terrible, though. Because these two are very expensive. I mean, they're going to stick around. So I'm just going to get the, the habitability boost for now. I'll actually get some pretty good value. That'll put Tropical Worlds at 70%, which ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Uh, you're done in Rager, so you're going to do that. And then this system here. 
giving us another wormhole and another dig site, which is kind of spiffy. Yeah, so I have three science ships working on dig sites over here. If we pause, yeah, see, we can see we're progressing on clues. Yeah, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Just like sieging out something in EU4. Or I guess, like, uh, EU4 and Rome and CK2. Does sieges and CK2 work the same way? I think so. I could build more ships over here, but I guess we'll wait. So we do have negative food and negative commercial goods, but that's okay. Trade offer over here. Yes, I will take that. Thank you very much for donating things to me. It is much appreciated. And our bastion over here. Oh, this is one we inherited here. Uh, no, I don't know. Double hangar bays um, on the front. I guess that's pretty much okay. Uh, let me just let me just give you like a resource silo or something like that. Because actually we do tend to cap out in various things, you know, from time to time, like the minerals. And there's no upkeep on that. Okay, Corvette hull points. That will be very appreciated. Probably got to go destroy. I do want the, the star holds and everything, but we need to unlock destroyers at this point. Methane gas explosion. Uh-oh. Methane gas explosion has injured science officer Alejandro Torres and several of the crew. The blast set off when a malfunctioning drill overcharged the generators, which caught fire. Before the fire can be contained, it ignited some residual methane gas and tore down a wall, revealing a secret system of chambers and tunnels. Oh! Our archaeologists believe they may have belonged to a person of means and note as they were... Oh, persons of means and note as they were filled to the brim with precious minerals and artifacts indeed minerals and rare crystals or whatever they're called lots of artifacts as well um that's that's all right because we don't have any of these uh productions yet but we have some volatile moats and some rare crystals stored up from various things uh we do have some within our border i'm sure we just have not unlocked it or am i sure i don't know uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and um, and continue with the horizon signal here, which is fine. So we lost our scientist here, but uh, at some point they will be back. And I guess we'll just take the cheaper one for now and tell you to go continue automatic exploration into the Shining Pearl Nebula. Oh, the Physian Autocracy. Well, hey, we're authoritarian. We serve the God King. The thing is, I always feel that like two fanatic spiritualists shouldn't get along and maybe two fanatical authoritarians shouldn't either because they like, you know, they disagree about each other being God King. Uh, yeah, this is fascinating. I, none of, I don't think any of those buttons matter here. And we're just gonna sort of skip through the horizon signal um, messages a uh, fair bit here because we have seen them many times before. So this is a pretty spiffing system. We'll go ahead and hook these things up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this system over here. They just actually expanded the keys here. Lots of trade value. That'll be kind of nice. Um, space amoebas might be a little hard for us to deal. Hidden in plain sight. The enigma of the repeating aurora borealis pattern was explained after scanners detected small machines in orbit around Gribbon 1. Some of these devices were intercepted and analyzed. It was established that the machines could manipulate the atmosphere by firing streams of charged particles into it, emulating solar wind. The patterns were basically code ciphers sent to beings on the surface. The theory is that the system was in use roughly at the same time as the global crisis took place. Coded communications in time of war, perhaps instructions to saboteurs or detonation signals for weapons, hidden in plain sight. Without anyone to turn them off, they looped to infinity. Giving us some society research. Okay, and the site has been fully excavated. So this ship is now done. So I guess what we'll do is we'll run you over here to excavate that dig site. Star system charted. Star system charted. Done, done, done. Finished. Aleph aliens. Here, let's. Oh, and Sigma aliens. Let's go ahead and meet you guys. We're repairing the automated shipyard over here in Farragon. Special project complete. Completed. Resumed. Three advanced raiders of unknown design. So we'll just get you guys to merge up over there. That's going to be fine. So this construction ship, it'll take a fair bit of influence, but I think it's worth it because it's three systems away instead of just being adjacent uh but it's got a size 25 relic world it's a great system and then it'll give us access to everything here as well so huge value ruby swarm is you know chilling over there we'll clear it at some point so we can get access to uh gaian world oh my okay hopefully it's not a holy site not that we've met the the holy people yet we don't have co basic combat roles yet so let's do that that's going to make our ships a fair bit better giving them some extra ai behavior very nice close borders with someone 
so far so good and yeah we could uh, you know we could make an actual sector over here if we want so sector design is working differently they don't get auto created anymore which some people will like although there's an implied frontier sector here like there there sort of is a sector there's the earth sector so these guys aren't in a sector which means they don't have a governor actually i just realized so probably we want to do that so we can do create new sector all systems within four jumps not previously part of a sector will become part of this sector um that just brings open this screen and then yeah the shared resources garden center is over here yeah so i'll make the sector it's gonna be fine boom Sign leader because the governor would be very 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 helpful um actually for now because this is a fairly new sector i think we'll go ahead and just give you the tile blocker clearer one so that's the gardener center's sector which says it has zero planets there we go it's like uh, i'm pretty sure it should have planets and ooh, archaeological site pending unnerving perfection oh too angled yes Gur 5 is virtually fractal the same wild collisions of natural and obviously artificial geography visible from space are replicated on the personal scale planet side there are mountains with perfect pyramidal bases and jagged craggy summits rough tundra that suddenly becomes a perfectly smooth plain of bare rock until another weathered natural formation bisects it juxtaposition of irregular boulders and rocks scattered among perfect cubes the size of a microchip or have lock uh as yet we can only imagine how this could have come to pass okay Boy, more diggy 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 holes um i guess this is a fine place for us to put in a cut some people are at war okay um still a little yeah a bit of a missed opportunity over here i would say uh but i guess that'll have to be all right for now and yeah maybe maybe some stuff will start over here it's a long way to go before we get a planet we can seize control of yet another L gate. Um, but these systems, you know, another black hole, that'll be something we can exploit later on. If we grab all the way to Ukulin, we can split these guys in half, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, more than kind of hilarious. I love splitting AIs in half and just giving them horrible border gore uh, to deal with. We should probably, speaking of border gore, grab these systems over here. How's our trade situation? No piracy going on, so that's okay. Although, um, we actually didn't run into very many trade resources, so there's simply not a lot of trade value. Once Canadris um, comes online a little bit more, well, I say Canadris, it's... I guess we didn't rename it. We should probably do that. Uh, once this comes online, like, it has some trade value in it, plus the planet itself will start doing it. And it's actually got a couple over here. Like, I'm almost wondering about building a starbase here as a better way to reach all the trade value. Um, alternatively, Alioth has got some as well. What we'll probably do is just build to trade uh, depots in here. So we are nowhere near our star base limit yet. Let's go ahead and not upgrade you because I don't have the resources. Okay, folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll put a cut in here and we'll continue this next time. Bye-bye.